Are you tired of spending countless hours cleaning up wrinkled and dirty backgrounds in your photos? As a professional photographer, your time is very valuable and it should be spent on capturing great shots, not on these time-wasting editing tasks. That's where this video comes in. Now in this tutorial, you will discover a straightforward technique to easily clean up backdrops in Photoshop. Whether it's coarse, medium, dirt, dust, you, clean, you will learn how to clean up these backgrounds in just a few simple clicks using AI. But that's not all. If you have thousands and hundreds of photos that you want to edit, you can automate your whole retouching workflow using Retouch For Me plugins with just one click. You just have to run your entire retouching process like removing blemishes, cleaning backgrounds, you can iron fabrics or clothing. Click the link in the description below and put it to a test. If you love it, you can use actually my discount code also listed in the description below to get a 20% discount on any plugin that you buy today. Let's, but wait, there is also more. I'll cover an advanced method for more complicated situation like this particular image here that has a car in between and it has different shades, different kinds of that. I'm going to show you how I use this same plugin to automatically clean all this. So if you're ready to streamline your editing process and take your photography to new heights, then buckle up. Yo, what's up my brother, what's up my sister? This is your boy Oscar Ntegi again with yet another amazing video. Now in this particular video, we're going to see how to clean this wrinkled background using only and only AI. Of course, there are longer methods you can use while editing in Photoshop, but this particular one, I'm going to show you how to use AI. Let's dive into this. What we do, we're just going to come and duplicate this. And the next thing we're going to come, we're going to come here and say filter, say retouch for me. And then we are going to come here and say, clean backdrop. So we are going to just let AI do its thing. I'm not going to clean anything. Basically, everything is just going to be done by retouching, retouch for me. So the best thing about this app is that uh, it has different things. It has, you can actually clean cost that. These are things like stones, you know, then you can also clean this kind of medium dirt, which is, uh, it can be things like dust and the like. Then you are, can also clean up those small things like powder and the rest of the background using this particular, you just have to choose the kind of that you're cleaning. But for this case, I'll just leave it in to do its thing automatically. So I'm just going to come create a mask here and then I'm going to come in and say apply. That's the before, that's the after, before and after, before and after. Actually, when you look at what it has done, Look at this, before and after, before and after. You see, okay, it has now affected also this part. So this is where I can come in with my layer mask and just get uh, my brush tool and just paint over where I don't want the effect to be just like that, okay? What if it has not removed the folds completely? I come back and re redo the same process. So I'll just create a screenshot of this same particular of this image, I just come and press Control, Alt, Shift, and E. If you're using a Mac, you press Command, Shift, Option, and E to repeat this. So I'll just come here into the filter. This time around, I'll say still retouch for me. Clean backdrop. This time around, let me just select medium, medium dot, and I'll come here and say, I wait for it to take action. I'll come here and say apply. So let's see before and after before and after. So I'll put this in a group so that we see what we have done. Let me put this in a group like that. Look at this. That's the before. That's the after before and after. Can you imagine how much time we have served that would have taken us hours and hours editing this particular backdrop, but this thing has done it automatically without even us cutting out anything. Now, that's the power of retouch for me. Of course, there is a, this particular thing that is there. So what are we going to do about that? I just come here, create just a mask right on top, like a stamp right on top here. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to come and patch it up. Just like that. Because this looks like some kind of blemish. And there you have it. So how do you do it on in more complex situations. For example, let's look at this image here. Let's look at this. Now, when you look at this particular piece, 
the background is very, very dirty. Look at that. You see, you have all these things. The background is very, very old. You see, this is now an old studio that has been worked. Yeah, look at all this particular thing. It even lost its texture. So when light hit here, you get, you, we got all this particular. So how do we do it? This is how I do it for such complex backgrounds. I just come here and duplicate this and I come here and say filter. So the strategy of working on to this, we are going to select each of these particular kind of uh, these particular particular particles or dirt in different categories. First, we're going to work on the on the course, that kind of uh, the dirt that is solid, that is big. Then we're going to work on the medium dirt. Then we work on the tiny kind of dirt. Now, the tiny, I think, when we, we select onto the tiny knob, this is what we are going to be able to clean. These particular small particles that you can't even clean with a clone stamp. Okay? Now, for the course, I'm expecting for AI to help us cover this. Let us see how much really AI can clean on such a, a very dirty background. Let's see how, how far it can go. So I'm just going to come here into filter, say retouch for me, and then I say clean backdrop. So I'm going to come here and select first clean the course that and then I wait for it to do its thing. Okay, for this situation, I'm not going to create a mask because I want us to see what it is, go it is going to clean, okay? I'm not going to create a mask, so I'm just going to come here and say apply. So when I say course, look at what it removed. That's the before, that's the after, before and after. Basically, it has removed, look at this, it has removed all these big, big course that I don't know why it has left out this. Then the next thing I'm going to do this, we shall rename this. Yeah, course. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come and uh, just duplicate this same layer right here. So I'm going to rename this medium and we see exactly what it is going to remove. Okay. Okay, medium. So the next thing I'm going to come here and say filter. Retouch for me. Then I say backdrop clean. So here I'm just going to choose the medium dot and I wait for it to do its thing. I'm going to come here and say apply. So let us see what the medium is going to remove, okay? So we see, so medium has also erased something. Let us see around here. Yes, medium has also removed now these particular white dressings that were left in by the large thing. When you look at, uh, that's after, that's before. After, before, okay? So now, let me duplicate this now. And now I'm going to rename this small or the tiny or dust. Now, let us click onto the R layer. We come into filter, retouch for me. We say clean backdrop. So we choose find that and we wait for it to do its thing. And then we are going to come here and say apply. Now, let us look at what it has removed. Look at this. That's the before, that's the after. Before and after. Before and after. Guys, isn't that amazing? Can you imagine the amount of time we would have taken editing all this? Let me just put all these in a group and we see what it has done for us, okay? Now, this is for complex kind of images. Look at this. That's the before and that's the after. Before and after. Isn't that amazing, guys? Now, at least these ones that are remaining, we can always just come and patch them up. I just create a stamp on top of this particular layer, like that, and I just come and patch this out. I press caps lock so that I get to see the patch. So I can just come and patch these, you know, using the patch tool. But it has served me hours and hours I would have taken cleaning this particular background but ai has cleaned everything almost everything for me of course most of these appear like elements that it could not detect but at least 
it has removed the biggest majority of that that I thought would be very, very. Now, that is the power of this, of AI. And I'm sure they're improving this particular tool more and more. You see, it, it, is, it cleans the particular, the wrinkled backgrounds easily. But for such complex backgrounds, I was very, very amazed by the results. Guys, I think this particular plugin is worth every investment. I I got it, and since I got it, man, it has made editing super easy, especially if you're a studio photographer or you do a lot of fashion work, a lot of portrait photography work, like uh, corporate headshots and the like. This is a must-have plugin for you. I highly and highly recommend it for you. And by the way, if you want to master the whole retouching workflow from start to finish, join the Retouching Secrets Masterclass today. And of course, be part of the big community of people that are taking the part, the biggest community of people that are taking their photography to the next granular level. Join the Retouching Secrets Masterclass. I go through all these AI techniques. And for those of you who are already in, I've actually uploaded more premium content for you guys on how to edit a on how to edit outdoor images in a high-end way. I've also, I'm also going to upload for you how to edit events, things like weddings in the Retouching Secrets Masterclass for those of you who are already students. Then I'm also, I've also updated, then I've also updated the Dynamic Beauty Actions Pack for those of you who are in the Retouching Secrets Masterclass. I've added in a few more actions that will accommodate these new things that are coming up. And of course, I'll see you in the next video and adios.